When coding reactively or declaratively, an Angular, the switch map operator is often used. For example, when we have to fetch details from the API on a routed detail screen, or when we are implementing a type ahead search. In this video, we'll cover how the switch map operator works, and we also cover some real world examples, such as a routed dialog screen and a type ahead search. So, how does a switch map operator work? A switch map operator basically takes in an observable and returns another observable. It will cancel all of the previous subscriptions if they are not completed yet. Because the switch map operator cancels all of the previous subscriptions, this behavior prevents memory leaks. But also, a small side note, because of this behavior, the switch map operator should not be used in cases where every subscription should complete. An example of such a scenario is with HTTP database written calls. So for example with posts, with puts, patch and delete requests, we want to merge map operator that. So I've prepared three use cases where I would use the switch map operator. The first one is a routed dialog screen. So we have our app component with which is just a router outlet and then we have a car detail component. Car detail component is shown whenever we provide a ID in the URL. So for example if I provide the ID one and it will load the details of an object, in this case a car. So how does this work? So in our car brand detail component we have an observable called ID, which basically it, which basically listens on the activated route params, and it maps the params to an ID. So this will be an observable of the string. And then we have a car parent observable, and this observable su subscribes to the ID observable. So every time the ID changes, then the, this switch map operator will be executed. The switch map operator takes in the ID, is of type string, and then we just get the full details of the car brand, the get by ID function. So if I change this ID here, then we'll see that we will get another brand. In this case, we get the Austin Martin. The next example I want to cover is a search with a switch map operator in combination with reactive forms. So here we have a input field and a list of car prints. And when we search in this, then the car brand list is updated. So how does this work? We create a form control and assign it to our input. Then we listen on the value changes of this form control. So every time this, the input of this form control changes, uh, this will get a new emission. Here we add the start with operator to make this observable hot because we want to show all of the car brands initially. If we won't do this, then the car brands will start showing up as soon as we type something in. So if I Disable this and do a reload. Then initially no car brands will be shown and search, then it will search the car list. If I remove search term, then all of the car brands are shown. But I want to show all of the car brands initially, so that's why I set it to start with operator. Then the debounce time operator will wait 300 milliseconds before searching. So every keystroke will wait 300 milliseconds. Otherwise, every keystroke will be a new emission. So this makes it just a bit better in terms of performance. And then the last but not least, the switch map operator takes in the search term, which is basically the value of the search term control and then we use this search term to pass to our car brand service in a search car brand method 
which will basically just return an observable string array. But the string array is basically all of our car price. Then the last example is basically the same as the last one, except we perform a search with the switch map operator and with a behavior subject. So here we have a behavior subject search term, and then we take the search term subject as an observable, and then we pipe on the search term observable. We do this optimization as well, so the debounce time and then the switch map operator. So every time we put something in here, then it will start friends again. So that were three examples how to use a switch map operator in Angular. If you want to check out the code examples, you can do so on my blog. I will put a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I see you in the next one. Bye.